Okay, how to test starter. Crank the car and the voltage will come off for about half a second and it'll drop to about 2.1 or 1, sometimes 0, depending on what kind of meter you're using. <coughs> how to test for ignition. You turn the ignition on, voltage, and when you turn the ignition off, it'll be 0. So off, on. Constant, which is the memory. I'll have 12 volts all the time, regardless if you have the key in the ignition or not. As you can see, it's all 12 volt all the time. Testing for parking light, the 12 volt polarity. If you have to, pause it. I know it's kind of fast, so you turn the switch on, and it should show 12 volts. You turn it off, and it should drop to zero. If it's a uh, negative, it's vice versa. Uh, testing negative door trigger. When you push the pin, it should show 12 volt. When you open the door, release the pin, drops to zero. So as you can see, close, 12 volt. Open, zero. Close, 12 volt. Open, zero. Testing negative door lock and unlock. Should be on constant all the time or you know voltage should be shown all the time 11 to 12 volt and when you hit the lock on lock button it'll fluctuate from constant 12 volt to zero and it'll jump right back and when you hit the lock it'll go from constant 12 volt to zero and it'll jump right back to voltage again